Well, my parents are pastors. So when I was five years old, um, I actually had to get on the stage and sing, I am just a little girl who can change the world. And I tried to drag my brother up there because I was kind of nervous about being by myself, but he didn't want to go. So, it's going to sound churchy, but it is what it is. I used to love Point of Grace and Jackie Velasquez. They were like my two favorite. <laughs> but what's really bad is that I had this little Walkman and I was a majorette, so I twirled batons as well. So I would sometimes sneak out on the doghouse and jump up there and listen to my Walkman, Achy Breaky Heart by Billy Ray Cyrus. <laughs> Well, um, as a lot of people who know me know that I studied all the time at Chick-fil-A. And if you can't tell, I heavily support them. Um, but I probably would have gone to Chick-fil-A and worked my way up to like owner operator if medical school hadn't worked out. I think having real family. Um, that's the one thing in church, it doesn't always feel like you have real family, but I think community, the way we do community, it feels like family. It's not perfect, sometimes it gets messy, um, and sometimes it surprises you, but it's just family. Lover, and not in a weird sense, but I want to be known that I love well, that everything that I do shows that I love well. Um, I want the Lord to know that I love Him well and faithfully and truly, but that other people know that I do my best to love them well, not to strive to love well, to just intentionally love well. I think I would ask Him, why this way? Why make an imperfect system that had to be fixed, but I think I already kind of know that answer because that's the best way when people have a choice. So it's not as pretty as you put in the essays when you get into medical school or when you're trying to. Um, I would say that becoming a doctor kind of fell into my lap. I didn't think that necessarily I was going to become a doctor and I just went to an interest group one day. My parents say that I said I would always become one. I talked about when I was a kid, but I don't remember that. And then I got in college, did some rotations, and I said, okay, God, if this is what you want me to do, I, like, I'm praying into this. Show me. And I got in. And then it was once I got into medical school and did my family medicine rotation, and really pressed into the presence and the Lord began to show me what my calling was to be a family medicine doctor and that he had called me to heal families not just one type of person but everybody um, and being from a pastor's home that was really hard because I thought oh I'll be in full-time vocational ministry and then I began to realize that what he called me to do he prepared me for going with my dad visiting everybody visiting the shut-ins going to funerals going to the hospitals I've been prepared my whole life to become a doctor, to heal people in just a different way than what I thought originally. Mm -hmm.